hello everyone thank you guys so much for coming back to my channel um i hope you guys are liking the video so far I'm just gonna hop straight into it so i've read matthew chapter five and oh this is exciting to me this chapter is exciting and um again this is my first time reading matthew like the way that i'm reading it and it is eye-opening this is the most i've seen jesus speak and i guess jesus speak in, in my book it's read so i don't know if you guys can see that can you no you can't see it you can't see it but um the words and the letters and stuff is read when Jesus speaks. So, yeah, it's, it's exciting. Is going over, you know, his take on divorce, his take on doing taking an oath, his take on how you feel about, you know, people being poor in spirit. I actually like that one. Blessed are the poor in spirit, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are those who mourn for they shall be comforted. When I, especially when I um, read that one, blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be comforted. It just took me back to a time where, you know, in life you lose a loved one or someone really close to you and you just really don't know you know, really how to mourn. You don't, like, people don't really know how to console you or comfort you at that time. You don't really know how to do it either, so just kind of shut everybody and everything out. But, but it's like, in doing that, you know, you're learning how to mourn. Your way of mourning is isolation your way of mourning is grasping and understanding of what just happened <laughs> it's like what just happened in my life that you know I'm going through this tragedy like this and I'm dealing with it the way that I'm dealing with it you know so yeah you see like I because I've been through it like I I know I get it. I feel like I'm still mourning sometimes from my loved ones. And, you know, it's like, it's a different type of comfort when you, you know, when, when a higher power, when God, like, comforts you, when you feel comforted, when you feel like someone is over you, you know what I mean? So, yeah, and then... That first one that I said, blessed are the poor in spirit. Like, what is poor? You know what I'm saying? People relate to poor as um, scarcity. People relate to poor as not having enough. But my take on being poor is being content with having the bare minimum. When you know you're capable of greater. That's a poor spirit. That's a poor mentality. Like, oh, I'm going to continue to eat the cheese that's like this when I know that it's better. So let me, instead of saying, well, let me motivate myself and affirm in my life change. And so I can get this different type of cheese. Like... You know, it's it's about how you look at it. And oh my own. My affirmation for today is a shift in your mindset is a shift in your life. So yeah, a shift in your mindset is a shift in your life. And in knowing that, you know, 
to control your mind and to control the things that you have going on in your life. It's it's a big deal <laughs> in other parts, you know, of your everyday. And um, like I said, it talks about um, anger. It talks about lust. It talks about retaliation. It talks about loving your enemy. And it goes on to the next chapter. I haven't gotten there yet. Again, I'm taking it day by day so that I can explain it. Just encouraging you guys to read, you know, if you want to read, it's all up to you. But how people like, I'm still pretty, I'm still pretty young, you know, but um, how the elders spoke of Jesus and how they speak of the Bible and how they live, it's traditional. It is beautiful for that time frame, for them. But now it's a, it's a new time. And now it's a respect for the change in the new generation of believers, in a new generation of Christians, in the new generation of spiritualists, like the same way they were respected, you know, everyone wants the same respect, but people have to accept that change happens. It's 2023, you know, the years are going, the days are moving faster. I don't know if I'm the only one that noticed that, but the days are moving faster. So it's like we have to really come together and accept what is happening and accept what is and respect the change that is taking place. Okay? That's, I don't really, you know, get into the whole religion thing. I don't. So that's why I just call myself spiritual. I'm not going to go back and forth with someone who swear up and down that I'm not who I am because of, because I don't classify myself as being, as being labeled to a religion. So anybody who feel that they have to confine and or feel confined to a certain place, group, whatever, just separate yourself because no lie you will like you as quick as you started <laughs> you will finish <laughs> like it's that first day it'll be your first and last day like no lie so I had to go about this journey as far as just reading and understanding who God is and trying to figure out who Jesus is and understanding myself all at the same time. It probably it wasn't in that order. Don't get me wrong. But in trying to get it, I'm saying trying because I'm still doing. Like I'm I'm doing it. <laughs> but um in having an understanding of what's going on in my life and understanding what's going on around me, you know, again I, I had to step into my own face and in my own phase of respecting what is, respecting what's being shown, respecting that I'm very spiritual. So if God's accepting me as I am for who I am, then nobody else's opinion or judgment of me really matters. So on that note, <laughs> um, I'm going to end it here, and you guys enjoy the rest of your day. And if you guys like the message, like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in my next video.